Eric Voss the only guy and able to get out there. Yeah, that's it. He just got on the problem with that hip. We got to get strengthened back up and, and just having little issues with it. But hopefully, he'll be back. You said last night Marvin Bracey has been able to kind of do Yeah, he's out there getting back in the groove of things. It's just hard with assignment wise. He's getting his health back, though. He's running, getting in shape, and doing some really good teams with the scout team and giving them good looks and, and you know, and seeing how, you know, getting better. Excited at all to get on the road, get a change of senior? Yeah, well, I mean, not just change the senior, but just it's a new challenge. It's another step, and if you want to go where you want to go as this team, this is something we got to learn to do. Talking about some of those freshmen, uh, watching like a TV broadcast at Clemson game, it seemed like Jameis was like right there, like for every time somebody's coming off the field, just as excited as anybody. He was. He was, he was into that ball game on the side, and that's just as important as some of those guys playing it. Those guys on the sideline keep giving support when guys get down, make plays, encourage. You know that that's an important part, and and I think it's good, especially to let those uh, other teammates see how enthused he is when somebody else is making plays. That's, I think that's a good sign. James Walden was kind of that guy last year. Oh, he was now. I mean, no matter who was playing or not, we, you know, he was he was all in now. He was he loves being on that field like that. You're exactly right. How much how much are you looking forward to just the test that your team faces? You've been so pleased with the I, performance and preparation, but that's all great at this point. You still got to go do it. You yeah. still got to go do it. You got to do it in a hostile environment. I'm very interested to handle if they handle the distractions and the things that go with travel and you know being in the hotel and the time and all those types of things. I'm I'm, I'm very interested in going into a, 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 you know another team's uh, stadium and playing. I'm I'm ex very excited to watch that. I really am. With a kid like James going back home, he's had a lot of stories written about him this week. How's he handling? You know, I think good, and I talked to him about that. I did. I, I said, listen, like we said last week, why was game day here? Because we're playing a game. So it's all about the game. So just relax and do what you do. You don't have to go home and do anything special. You don't have to do anything. You just got to be James Wilder and do it right. And, and and it is because a young guy, every time they want to go home, they don't put pressure on themselves to try to do more, do this, do that. You just got to relax and play. And hopefully that usually goes away when somebody hits you real good one time. You kind of <laughs> you kind of remember that I am in a football game. So, uh, But I, but he has. He's practiced extremely well. I, th I think the last couple of days have been really good. He talked about that he likes the jersey the way he wears it because it reminds him of like the old school with Derrick Brooks and those guys. Does he have like a little, little bit of an old school? Yes, he does now. He does. You know, and, and that body and that, the way he plays, that toughness and mentality. I mean, you all everybody's tough, but he is a, he, I, you say a throwback type player. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could see that. I really could. You, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, the pieces around EJ being better earlier this mm -hmm. week. His numbers against the Blitz seem like they've improved a good bit this year. Is that a matter of him making quicker decisions and better reads, or is that Yes, better? yes, and yes. Yeah. I mean, it's that you can now stand in there and know, okay, those guys are blocked. That's the guy that isn't. That's the guy I got to deal with. And now all of a sudden I'm getting my side adjust run. I'm getting my hot routes run. So I can not worry here. I don't have to be blinking and looking and, you know, and then, you know, or a guy is supposed to be blocked and all of a sudden he gets hit and people say, why ain't he getting, well, that was supposed to be taken care of. And you have to, when that happens, there's got to be a huge trust factor because you got to let all that go. Okay, that's the guy I got to handle. And then you get your sight, your hot, whatever you got to do out of there. And it's a huge part because of the trust. And it's, it allows him to have that confidence to keep doing it. And then they're executing him around it. But you're exactly right. There was one blitz that didn't get picked up early in that game that I think came right off his oh, backside yeah. that was supposed and, to be picked up. Yeah, and he stood right in there and actually stepped into the ball pretty And pretty like he assumed well. it was going to be blocked, and it yeah. was. And he just had a miscommunication with the guy up front, and we didn't slide back out. Chris got one of them, and we had to have a tackle get the other, and he didn't get back out. But he, he, but was, he, he was assuming it was going to be right. You know, he, wasn't, he wasn't having that. those happy feet. Right. That's exactly right. And that's what I tell him. If, if that starts and you start looking at those guys, it's over. You can't play quarterback. And he does a great. He's doing a great job of trusting those guys around him. So many times y'all go on the road, and you know you're going to face a hostile environment. With how many Seminole fans are going to be there, is almost kind of like saying, eh, "Well, you know, it's almost like a, ro a home game four well, hours away." I'll, I'll wait and see how many are there. <laughs> I mean, they're saying all that, but I'll wait and see. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, I'd be great if we could have more than them or, or something like that. I, I, I don't know that, but we'll wait and see. We got to prepare for the worst, and then we'll adapt to the other. <laughs> yeah, they, they just announced this is all out. Is that right? Six five that wow.